Hey everyone, Cookie here. I'm bringing you a CSR 45 Regicide gameplay. This one is on Dispatch. This is the match after the last Regicide gameplay I posted, the one on a drift. And you'll notice right off the bat, I get a kill because the guy spawned in my crosshair and I was ready to kill him. I know I've said many times that in Rumble Pit and Regicide you should be ready for those initial kills. But this is just yet another example of why you should be ready, and you can get an easy kill with it, so always look for people right off the bat whenever you're playing Regicide at Rumble Pit. You'll notice that I spawn, I look for the king across the map. You should always put shots into people across the map, no matter how weak they are, because uh, frequently you will get kills, frequently other people will shoot them as well, and you'll be able to clean up the kill. It's something that seems counterintuitive, but you should do it anyway. So I notice two people are fighting, I throw the window nade, I end up cleaning up one guy and I know the other guy's weak, I get a double kill, and I end up picking up his snipe. So that was a good play on my part to be aware. This true beast guy gets a, uh, a couple of good nades on me, but I ended up getting the snipe kill. You can't expect to kill more than maybe two people with snipe on dispatch. It's just too hectic of a game type, it's too hectic of a map, and uh, it's fine to die when you have snipe you know it doesn't mean you're a bad player or anything but I got a pretty good nade on this guy and ended up cleaning him up and he spawns right near me I don't know if you remember but last gameplay and I told you that you spawn by where you die very frequently and he just did that so that's another example it happens so always be prepared to clean up the kill that you may not have gotten so even right there, I died to that guy in a BR fight and I'm looking for him, I'm nading just to see if I can clean him up, and he was weak. He still is weak and he's running away. And I, I don't end up getting that kill, but I end up cleaning up the king. So once again you'll notice that, you know, in Regicide you can't afford to try to survive and you can't afford to try to get like a super high KD ratio chances are you're gonna end up getting a kill or two and then you're gonna end up dying especially against good people so if you're in a fight and you're about to kill someone and someone shoots you from the side just you know focus on the guy who's weak don't even worry about dying you, you know you're always gonna die in rumble pit and regicide so you should just focus on one person don't mind if you trade kills because that's what happens. There are situations like these where you can just sit up top and you can pick off people who are fighting and you can get some good kills there. I spawn behind this guy. I'm able to pick him off just because it was a very convenient spawn. And I'm immediately looking for people. I end up getting rushed from the side. I get a nice nade on this guy. And Chris Dog, he's a pretty good player. So he ends up cleaning me up. So I spawn by a sniper, and as you can see, immediately there's pressure on me. I end up sniping a guy in the body, but I get naded. That window nade right there is, is an extremely good nade to toss, especially when you're going for snipe. Whenever there's a snipe up on dispatch, people immediately go for it. So I end up getting a nice snipe on the king, and the guy rushes me on the side. I get a nice snipe on him through the window and I go for the cleanup kill. He ends up jumping through the window but I'm able to get that kill. So right here I'm not exactly expecting to survive that long with the snipe. I'm really not and I ended up getting cleaned up before I can take out the guy who I got one shot. So I get some pretty nice shots on Chris Dog right there and once again you can't really expect to survive that long but I'm pretty fortunate to get a nice nade and a BR kill on True Beast and I clean up the guy who he was fighting. So Rumble Pit, you know, you do often get a kill and then die and then get a kill and then die but occasionally you do end up, you know, uh, interrupting fights and getting two or maybe three kills per life. So you always want to look for those weak players. You always want to look across the map and put shots into people across the map at all times. This Chris Star guy had a pretty good BR, end up missing my last shot and he takes me out there. I get the assist. The assists don't really help, but you know, you take them when you can get them. This guy right here shows why pulse grenades can actually be useful. They're not super useful in a lot of situations, but in situations like that they are pretty useful. So this is pretty intense in the end. 
I know I only need one more kill to win. I know the other guy only needs, you know, a kill and an assist to win. He ends up getting a kill. And that shot right there was the winning kill. Uh, I'll rewind that for you. But if I wouldn't have pushed out here, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have won the game. I kill Mr. Bucket, and if you look right here, the player who was fighting him was Chris Dog. So he was the second placement. If I wouldn't have rushed out for that kill and I wouldn't have known where I was points wise in the game, I probably wouldn't have ended up winning that one. You can see that he had eight regicides, so I ended up with a decent amount of more kills than he had. But nevertheless, you know, it's that awareness that you have to have in order to win these tight games. And that was pretty intense in the end. So I ended up winning that game. It was a CSR 45 gameplay on Dispatch. And I have more FFA gameplays to come. And I have a lot of 50 games to post for you. So I hope you enjoy the gameplays that I've posted on my channel so far. Like and comment if you want. And subscribe to the channel as well as spread the news. More gameplays to come as always, and see you later.